Eiffel. London. Eiffel. My name's Coogan Cassis, this is iFilm London. We're at a TKO gym here in Cannon Town. With me I've got renowned boxing trainer, Johnny Ames. How are you, Johnny? Fine, thank you, Coog. Right. Buzzing gym you look like you've got here? Yeah, I was just, uh, a bit quiet at the moment because it's closed season, but usually this sort of time of day you, you can see numerous amount of fighters in here, sparring, training and, and, and whatever. It's, it's quite a busy gym. I want to talk to you about an event that you've put together that you do more or less every year um, for the Indy Rose Trust, um, a charity football match in Canvey. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an event I got involved in last year. Um, just, I did actually a football event the year before that for one of my fighters and, and uh, we, had a, we had a guy, Russell Dobson, come and fit the, the boiler in the gym here, um, getting talking to him and he informed me about his young daughter, young Indy. Um, who at three years of age was diagnosed with, with a uh, brain tumour and tragically died. And uh, the story touched a little bit of a soft spot in my heart, having grandchildren that sort of same age myself. And uh, you know, I decided, you know, if I could if I could get together all the all the all the professional fighters to come down and play football for one of my fighters, I'm sure I could do it for such a tragic story. And uh, we put this idea together last year. Um, and uh, Paul Smith and and, and, and uh, various other people who actually came to the football the year before volunteered their all straight away without any and, and it just snowballed and before I knew where I was I had like I don't know uh, 100, 100 different fighters and, and film stars and and, uh, and pop pop stars all wanting to get involved in, in the game and, and it just it just snowballed on from there. Because you had people like Ricky Atten and David Hay last year uh, in Camby, didn't you, playing? Yeah, I mean, I mean Ricky, Ricky and David, you know, both big stars and, and both big, big-hearted people as far as I'm concerned. I mean, Ricky in particular, um, he, came, he drove down from Manchester um, with Speaky. He, you know, he brought untold amount of memorabilia, um, stayed the whole day, played in every game, uh, although he was killing him. <laughs> <laughs> he played in every game and, uh, you know, um, my heart goes out to Ricky. There weren't, there weren't, there weren't a moment that he didn't, that he had to himself. You know, if he wasn't playing on the pitch, he was signing autographs or having photographs done, and nothing was too much for him. That's Ricky and all over, then. Well, we all know that. I mean, the people that don't know Ricky don't know that side of him. But you know, you and I know him quite well, and uh, there, there wasn't, a, you know, he never said no to anybody for photographs, for autographs, you know, and and. I just think he's marvellous and it's a shame Ricky can't be here this year because he's actually away on holiday with Callum. But I know he's sending memorabilia down again and same with David A, he's in Cuba on holiday and he's sending memorabilia. We've got a lot of big stars in, in their place. How important is it for the boxing community to be involved in charities like the Indy Rose Trust? I think it's a big, it's a, it's a big part of, of, of letting the people out there know that you know boxing ain't just all brutality. You know, there's a lot of nice people in boxing. and. Uh, you know, the first year I did this event, when we did the auction after, the boxers was buying their own stuff back, what they put in for the auction, to help raise the funds, you know. Can you tell us uh, about who's going to potentially be there, names confirmed? Well, I mean, starting off with the boxing world, you've got, um, you got Matthew Macklin, you've got Ricky Burns, mm. you've got Rendell Monroe, Nathan Cleverly, um, Jamie Moore, obviously Kevin Mitchell from here, Vinnie Mitchell. Every fight from the TKO team is going to be there anyway, so I won't run for all their names. You know, you've got Stephen Bell, who was a great amateur, very good professional and, and now an actor. Uh, he's coming, I'm not sure of the guy's name at Coronation Street, but he's Gary in Coronation Street with a ginger ear. He's coming to play. Johnny Burrell out of Razor Light, yeah. he's coming uh, and he's bringing a few of the group. Uh, some actors from Shameless. I mean, the list's endless. Endless. It's, it's just, it's just phenomenal. The response I got within the three, well, two and a half weeks that we actually decided to go ahead with the event this year. I've got to touch on your health, John, because uh, you was re recently diagnosed with with cancer. Um, you know, how's the treatment going, and what can you tell us? Yeah, the, tr the treatment's gone great. I mean, I, I had to have six weeks of um, radiotherapy. A um, little bit tiring. Nothing, nothing to, to 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 cry about. I still came to work every day. I mean. I considered myself really fortunate when I when I was down at cancer the cancer department in um, in Bart's Hospital, who I want to say a thank you to for all their work. Um, and I see so many young kids down there who, 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 you know, are in a lot worse state than what I was. I mean, I, I was actually diagnosed with cancer of the lip. I mean, it's it's cleared up quite. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's cleared up quite a bit now. 
Um, but I mean, there's some young kids down that department who, who you know, it doesn't bear thinking about what they're going through. And there ain't one of them that comes in there sad every day. They're, they're, they're all happy. It's like its own little community down. I couldn't believe it. And it just opens, it opens your eyes to, to, to how lucky you really are. You know what I mean? So, and that's why this year, this event really does mean a lot more to me. Because this year I've seen it from the inside, although it only be a minor side. I mean, John, I don't have to big you up, but I'm going to give you some credit because many other people in your position wouldn't be here today in this gym here, looking after your fighters still and also putting this event on. I know there was touch and go with this event was going to go on. You are putting it on, so I've got to give you some credit there. I know you, you ain't going to take this credit, but, you know, I, I want to commend you for that, John, really. Thanks very much, Cash. As a lot of say, I ain't in it for the pats on the back. No, I know. I genuinely, I genuinely do this thing every year from the art for the, for the little kids. I mean, a lot of the kids come to the event on the day. And just seeing them there is, is, is heartbreaking, you know, you, you couldn't bear thinking about John, it. John, thank you very much for talking to us um, here at your, your gym, take our gym. Um, like I said, people, next week, Sunday the 14th at uh, Concord Rangers Football Club, turn up, show your support. It's a great cause Johnny's put on for the Indy Rose Trust. So um, this is Coogan Cassis with Johnny Ames for iFilm London and the Indy Rose Trust. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coogan. OK, I'm Johnny Ames. Uh, you're watching I feel, you've been watching iFilm London. Um, I hope this this uh, short film helps all you come along and support what is such a worthy charity and make a lot of children happy through their illness. Thank you very much. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt.